Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. Weblog founder Jason Calacanis has recently confirmed that XRP is obviously a security with comprehensive reasons to back it up. Additionally, as the XRP XLM battle heats up in the cryptocurrency world, replies to the contentious tweet the Ripple CTO made against the co-founder of Stella have been sparked. Moreover, is it wise to ask SEC Chairman Gary Gensler to stop protecting the American public in light of regulatory actions against crypto firms? Additionally, we will examine Gauner Shades in relation to Big Boy's decision to become an XRP millionaire. The idea that Ripple does not conduct an ICO with XRP or control you and ELLs on XRPL claims was previously debunked, but it has recently resurfaced amid the ongoing legal dispute. We will now decide if XRP qualifies as a security or not. Follow me through to the end to learn more. The most recent person to claim that XRP is essentially a security is American businessman, angel investor, and founder of the now defunct platform blogging Jason Calacanis. While discussing the costs that Ripple has incurred in the US SEC lawsuit, the serial investor recently expressed his confidence in this claim. XRP is undoubtedly a security concern, according to a tweet from Calacanis. He believed that registering XRP as a security with the SEC would have been the wisest course of action for Ripple. He thinks that this action might have saved him some money and allowed him to avoid paying the lawsuit's costs. Cattle County's comments came from a recent disclosure by Ripple CEO Brad Garland House. While speaking to CNBC, Garland House indicated that Ripple will have spent up to $200 million fighting the SEC and the long-standing case by the time the lawsuit finishes. Keela County believes this could have been avoided. According to him, Ripple ought to have registered XRP like every other company in the sector does continuously. Given that the majority of crypto businesses have not registered their native tokens as securities due to a lack of adequate advice from the SEC, this statement has drawn criticism. Responding to Calacanis, Mike Belch, the co-founder and CEO of digital asset trust business Bigo, argued that the investor's statements emanated from an uninformed mindset. Before you make illogical claims like this, try registering a digital asset as a security. Notably, Jason Calacanis is renowned for his angel investing capabilities, having invested in some of the most successful startups of the past decade, such as Uber, Tumblr, and Calm. Despite this, several industry professionals say he is uneducated when it comes to securities legislation. It is worth reiterating just as the asset itself does. It is quite improbable that XRP is a security. Literally, investing is what you do. You ought to try actually learning about securities laws. Jacob Franick, co-founder and former CEO of Coinmetrics, claimed, however, that Calacanis is not the only individual with this attitude. As previously reported, Libra ECIR, the president of the Texas Blockchain Council, disclosed last December that he and numerous others believe that XRP is a security. Furthermore, in a recent development in the ongoing rivalry between the Ripple and Stellar Lumens, the Ripple Chief Technology Officer, CTO, David Schwartz, has taken a swipe at Stellar co-founder Jed McCaleb. Schwartz warned a crypto enthusiast to be wary of McCaleb in a tweet that caused quite a stir in the cryptocurrency community, claiming that the co-founder of XLM walks around with a live grenade without realizing it. If Jed McCaleb tosses a pin at you, Ron Schwartz stated, quoting a video footage where a police officer unintentionally lit a live grenade while in a sedan car. This tweet is the latest salvo thrown in a long-standing conflict between the XRP and XLM crypto groups. Nearly 200k people engaged with the tweet on Twitter in response, with many individuals siding with the Ripple CTO. McCaleb throws shade at the Ripple and XRP communities from the angle of the blockchain's unending legal battles with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. The EXLM co-founder cited an update on XRP from his current event in Las Vegas, urging SEC Chairman Gary Gensler to come in and set things straight on McCaleb's tweet on crypto and query whether McCaleb is feeling left out. Sarcastically, Schwartz retorted, Stellar is always there for me. It is unknown when the two crypto communities started picking on each other. However, in a tweet in August, 
a well-known crypto influencer account, the Ripple CTO, questioned what his biggest issue of the XLM ledger was. Although he did not respond, McCaleb instead wrote that XLM is a threat to XRP. The reply from McCaleb makes it quite clear that both blockchains are at odds with one another because each believes the other poses a danger. While Ripple and Stellar are blockchain-based payment solutions aiming to revolutionize the financial industry, the rift is not subsiding anytime soon as both often fight for dominance. Data from the well-known market tracking website shows that the sixth most important token, Ripple XRP, has a market share of close to $22 billion. On the other side, Excellent XLM ranks well below position 27, with barely a $2.37 billion market cap. Five years ago, SLM was among the top 10 most prominent tokens with a market cap of approximately $12 billion. Please remember to tick the notification button and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about any developments involving XRP. Americans who are interested in cryptocurrencies no longer want the Securities and Exchange Commission to defend them. Famous cryptocurrency attorney John Deaton requested in a tweet sent to SEC Chairman Gary Gensler on Monday that you cease shielding us on behalf of the American people. The SEC Chairman thanked other agency staff for their dedication to advancing the SEC mission, but he made no comments. Dean made this statement in light of the SEC's recent string of damaging regulatory proceedings against multiple crypto companies, including the XRP blockchain, Coinbase, a cryptocurrency exchange, Paxos, the company that created the BUSD stablecoin, and Bitrix, which has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In December 2020, the US government filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs Incorporated, saying that the business made an unregistered securities offering by selling XRP, the native currency that Ripple utilizes in its payment network. According to the SEC, XRP satisfies the requirements for an investment contract under the Howey test which is a legal test to determine whether a financial instrument is a security. On the other side, Deaton, along with Ripple, has repeatedly claimed that XRP is a digital currency, a software code, and not a security. It's interesting that despite several court filings, the legal dispute between SEC and Ripple is still active nearly three years later. Blockchain attorney Deaton recently argued on Twitter that there is no legal precedent to say that any investment contract case in the last 76 years has taken the underlying asset security into account. Deacon reached this conclusion after conducting a thorough investigation and taking into account the opinions of specialists like New York-based attorney Louis Cohen, who recently published a book titled The Ineluctable Modality of Security Law. Why Fungible Crypto Assets But Not Securities? Furthermore, in a tweet today, notable trader and Bitcoin proponent Todd's famous cryptocurrency YouTuber Ben Armstrong's alias Bitcoin Crypto gave ideas on how people might become XRP billionaires by posting this screenshot of Cohen P.S. latest essay headlined, Be an XRP Millionaire by 2025. Big Boy Cryptus is the perfect gentleman. The famous Bitcoin proponent used the article to top Bitcoin crypto by highlighting the two steps the YouTuber intends to use to become an XRP millionaire. According to Gauner, making a token is the initial step. Second, Gauner asserted that Bitcoin will sell the remainder of his token supply and use the proceeds to buy $1 million worth of XRP tokens. It is worth mentioning that the article's content has no relevance with Gunnar's ideas. The article highlights Bitcoin Crypto's recent remarks suggesting how XRP community members can become millionaires by 2025. Big Boy indicated that XRP aficionados will need to retain at least 150k XRP, with the price of a unit being roughly $6.75. Gauner, however, used the piece to criticize Big Boy for declaring his relationship with a recently released token. Now to the big question of the day. Is XRP ascertained as a security or not? Please remember to hit the notification button and subscribe to our channel if you want to be the first to learn about new developments involving XRP. Ari, a famous media personality and part of the XRP community, has stepped up to contradict published accusations that Ripple executed an ICO with XRP. These words came as a response to a report from Prodas. The media company's claim that Ripple controls most transactions on the XRP ledger was also debunked. 
Notably, the Proto's article asserts that one of the world's first initial coin offerings was carried out by Ripple. In December 2020, the US SEC accused Ripple and its executives of violating the same claim. Echoing Ripple's from the preceding statement, it was very explicitly stressed that the company never put out an ICO. For context, startups and projects can raise money by issuing new tokens through a sort of crowdfunding called an initial coin offering, ICO. Initial coin offers, ICOs, are comparable to IPOs and traditional financing, except instead of offering investors shares in a firm, they offer them newly produced digital tokens. Although Ripple sells XRP to the public to support its infrastructure, the corporation has adamantly denied that it performed a single offering for the token, as is customary of an ICO. Additionally, ICOs typically involve newly created tokens, but Ripple's sale of XRP involves a commodity that is already in circulation and can be traded on many exchanges. According to reports, the proto stated that investors had to buy XRP using Ethereum during the ICO, but he also pointed out that XRP has been in use for up to three years prior to the debut of Ethereum. This confirms that XRP already existed long before the so-called ICO. Every previous case in which courts have decided that transactions involving a digital asset were investment contracts involved in issuing ICO or other promises of future tokens as stated in court at the beginning of the SEC litigation, Ripple never launched an ICO, never sold future tokens to raise money, and has no contracts with the vast majority of XRP holders. Additionally, Chris Giancarlo, a former chair of the CFTC, has stated that investors who bought XRP did not depend on Ripple's efforts for returns, contradicting the SEC's classification of assets as investment contracts. John Carlo reminded out that XRP is a token on the XRP ledger, which is independent of Ripple. If Ripple would have fooled XRP and the XRP ledger would continue to function regardless, he highlighted that the network is maintained by autonomous third-party validators with no reliance on Ripple. In a different Proto's report, Ripple is accused of having some sort of control over the consensus mechanism that governs the XRP ledger. This casts doubt on the XRPL's decentralized structure. As previously reported by the Crypto Basics, individuals such as Justin Bones also share the sentiment. The XRP community responded to the latest Prodos article and sought to refute the assertion stated. This was especially true of the XRPL Foundation, which oversees the DUNL, now has 36 validators and is independent of Ripple. Rather, the foundation is governed by independent persons inside the community. Additionally, community members drew attention to the fact that, despite the network's recommendation of UNLV, individuals are always free to select another school of their choice. We have reached the conclusion of this film, which was recently highlighted by David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple. Guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. This greatly helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Sharing this video with as many people as you can will also help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Let's get this news everywhere, guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency aficionado, don't miss any of our stuff. We'll talk about the most recent news that affects our community as a whole when we see you tomorrow.